morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. So today has been an interesting day. As you know, I live in a community in Arizona, and I've been seeing that there is a community boot camp. We live in a community called Rancho, and there's a Rancho boot camp, and I've heard about it for a while now and have been wanting to check it out. But as you know, I have a fitness coach that I pay a pretty penny for. She is worth every penny. You guys, coaching is worth every single penny. For my clients, it's worth every penny to have a coach, someone in their corner, someone to help them, someone to navigate them. And that's why I have a fitness coach as well. But I wanted to check out this Rancho boot camp. It's Monday through Friday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. And I just went to my first class. And let me tell you, it was a killer workout. Absolute killer workout. I'm already sore. I'm tired. I was dripping sweat. And I think I thought I was in pretty good shape until I came to this class. It was so hard. We would run in the parking lot. Lots of upper body, lots of lower body. It's five days a week from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. And it's something that I'm considering doing in place of my elliptical workout in the morning. I still want to be able to go to the gym and lift weights. So I'm thinking about taking this boot camp a few days a week. And it's not inexpensive per month, but like I said, it's an investment. And it's something that's going to give me a little bit more of a total body cardio workout. So I came for the first time today and it was really fun. Another thing that I'm excited about with the boot camp is community meeting other women and having a community. They do a lot of events and get togethers and ladies nights. So it'll be a great way for me to meet people plus get in a really good workout. So it was great. I want to think about how I can incorporate it and still have my fitness coach because she's such a gem and been such a blessing for me. But I want to try to incorporate the boot camp as well. I was dripping sweat, dripping sweat. And it's five in the morning and like 53 degrees and I'm so sweaty. So it was an amazing, amazing workout. So I just finished that. I did have about half of my protein coffee this morning. The other half is waiting for me at home. So I'm going to head home, take a quick shower, finish my protein coffee. We'll make some breakfast. It was a different Monday morning workout, but I really, really enjoyed it. We do it outside at a park in my community and it was just, it was really good. It was super good. So to the shower, to coffee, and then some breakfast. Okay, I'm ready for the day. I'm already sore from that boot camp workout. I can't believe how intense that was. I mean, it feels really good, but I can feel that my body is pretty sore and I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna put together my breakfast, but before I do, I'm going to do my post-workout supplement. I share this a lot. This is the 6 a.m. run. Finish line, right now I have the flavor lemon lime. They also have watermelon, and I like the watermelon better, but I like the lemon lime too. And this is a great post-workout supplement. So it has BCAAs in it, helps with muscle recovery, soreness, which I know I'm going to need. So I'm going to put a scoop of that in my bottle. Yes, I have a new bottle. So I still have my other Lululemon bottle, but I ordered a second one because this piece goes in the dishwasher a lot and I kind of panic when I don't have my Lululemon bottle because the water tastes amazing in here. And I loved this kind of fun lime green color. So I'm going to mix up my post-workout supplement and then for breakfast, this has kind of been a go-to for me. I do about 170 grams of cottage cheese. So this is the Shamrock Farms low-fat cottage cheese. It's actually almost gone. And I've been putting about 50 grams or so of fresh blueberries on my cottage cheese. And then I've been doing a slice of the Thomas pumpkin spice swirl bread. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And then I put a teaspoon of Kerrygold butter. I've been trying to stay away from light butter with the exception of baking. So I bought myself some of the Kerrygold whipped butter and it's really, really good. So I put a little bit, one teaspoon of butter on the pumpkin spice bread. It's so good. So I have a good fast acting carbohydrate. I have protein. I have fiber, healthy carbs in the fruit. I have a really well balanced breakfast. So let's put breakfast together because I'm starving. So first I'm going to mix up my post-workout supplement. So I just put one scoop in my water bottle, fill it with water, toss in some ice and shake it up. I will link my 6 a.m. run supplement down below for you guys with a discount. Big, big game changer if you're someone that exercises a lot. For me, it definitely, definitely helps with my muscle recovery. I will also link 
my Lululemon water bottle down below because you already know I am obsessed. So here's my breakfast. Here's my piece of pumpkin swirl toast with a teaspoon of Kerrygold butter. I have 160 grams, that's all I had left of cottage cheese with 50 grams of blueberries. I have my Lululemon bottle filled with my 6 a.m. run. I am so excited to dig into this. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, and protein here on the screen for you. If you love pumpkin spice, get this bread. It is so good. It's the perfect sweet spicy Mm. And that real butter, you can't beat it. It's morning snack time. I am hungry. I think that workout has made me a little bit extra hungry today. So I want to have, so I'm going to have a healthy eating all the time and go bar. You guys know that I absolutely love these. This is the natural peanut butter, low carb chia protein bar. Whenever I order from the healthy eating all the time and go website, I always get the protein based bars because we know I have a protein goal. This one has 14 grams of protein, 205 calories. It's really, really good. It has a natural peanut butter base with the chia seeds. They do get stuck in my teeth. That's the only thing I don't like about this bar, but it tastes so good. It keeps me full and satisfied and it has nice, clean ingredients. And it is a woman owned small business. So I'll link them down below for you guys with a 10% off discount. It's not an affiliate link. I don't make any money, but it supports the business. I love the owner and I love the bars. If you're looking for a cleaner eating protein bar, I can't recommend healthy eating all the time and go enough. So this delicious chia protein bar is my morning snack. Hello and welcome to to the outside of my house. I am going to do my Halloween home tour for 2022. As you know, we just moved into this house. We just moved to Arizona in March of this year. So this is my first year decorating my new house for Halloween. And apparently we get lots and lots of trick-or-treaters, which I'm really excited about. So I did a little bit outside and then I'll take you quickly through what I did on the inside. Not a ton. I just like to decorate our main living space. And then of course my office for the backdrop of my video. So I'm going to flip you around Around and welcome to the Clayton Halloween Home Tour 2022. Like I mentioned, I did just a few things outside, starting with my little Fright Night sign. This is out by our garage door. And then the rest of what I did outside is mainly by our front door, just to make it simple.
So I've been on a couple coaching calls this morning and I kind of feel like I want another coffee. I had my protein coffee really early this morning, 4 a.m. before I went to that boot camp workout. Speaking of that workout, I'm already sore. I already feel it in my legs my arm, so I have a feeling that that was an intense, intense workout, really good for me, but I'm gonna be sore tomorrow and probably even more sore the following day, but I really, really want another coffee. I have one more coaching call today. I'd love to be able to sip on a second coffee for the day. So actually, let's go ahead and go into the kitchen and make a coffee. I don't think that I'm gonna put a protein shake in there. I think I'm just gonna do some coffee creamer, and I wanna use my cold brew that I got at Starbucks in a grocery haul because I really, really like it. And I told you guys that I would report back and let you know how it is. So let's make coffee number two of the day. So the cold brew is this one right here from Starbucks. This is the Starbucks pumpkin spice cold brew. So there's 15 calories. I counted as zero points. So I love it. And I really, really like it. It has really good pumpkin spice flavor. It definitely comes through even with creamer. And then I've been really liking the Coffee Mate Zero Sugar Pumpkin Spice Creamer. It's actually almost gone. So I mix these two together. This is a concentrate, so you actually add quite a bit of water. So let me show you exactly how I make my pumpkin spice cold brew. So like I said, this is a concentrate and it says that three quarters of a cup makes one and a half cups total. So I like to add about three quarters of a cup of the concentrate. I don't measure it out. I just pour a little bit into my mason jar. And then I want to add that same amount of water. So about three quarters of a cup of water and that just dilutes it down and makes the perfect, perfect cold brew. And then I like two tablespoons of my pumpkin spice creamer. There is actually a little bit left, so that's good. Enough for one more coffee. And then I fill the rest with ice. Like I said, it's really, really good. This has a really nice pumpkin spice flavor, and I'm generally not the biggest fan of cold brew. I think it has a weird taste, but this one from Starbucks, and really this is honestly the only pre-made cold brew that I've ever purchased that I really like. This one is delicious, and then paired with a little bit of the creamer. Perfection, definite pumpkin spice vibes. Can you see Palmer out there? This is a morning routine for him. Every morning when he wakes up for the day, he goes and lays outside on the grass for about 10 minutes and gets nice and toasty warm. He's actually falling asleep. He's so cute. So for lunch today, I'm making one of my go-to meals. I share this a lot in my grocery haul, and you guys are always asking, well, how exactly do you make your little chicken mashed potato vegetable bowl? So this is kind of my spin on the KFC bowl, but a much healthier option because I generally, I use a shredded chicken instead of a breaded chicken. Now you can use the Just Bear Nuggets, you could use chicken nuggets, you can kind of put your own spin on this, but this is one of my favorite meals. It's it's high in protein. We have a healthy carb in there and then I throw in some vegetables for some extra fiber. So how I put my bowl together is I start with mashed potatoes. Whether I make them homemade, use Idahoan or the Bob Evans. I really like the Bob Evans because it's ready to go. It's pre-made and it's super easy to measure out. And then you know I normally buy the pre-shredded all white meat chicken from Sprouts. Well, I didn't go to Sprouts this last week so I ordered the fajita seasoned chicken from Walmart. This is really good, really, really good. Better than I expected. So this will definitely be a repurchase for me. I love to add a little bit of gravy to my bowl as well. My favorite is the Heinz Classic Chicken. And then whatever vegetable you have on hand, I have a can of mixed vegetables here. So let me put my bowl together. I'll show you exactly how much I use. I weigh everything out on my food scale as always. I highly recommend weighing all of your food. That's how you know that you're accurate in what you're tracking. So let's put together the healthier spin on the KFC bowl. So the first thing I'm going to do is weigh out half of a cup or 140 grams of the mashed potatoes. And then I'm going to add three and a half ounces of the fajita chicken right on top of the potatoes. And then a serving of the gravy is a quarter cup or 60 grams and I always do 60 grams on top. And then for my vegetables, I usually just add a couple of tablespoons of veggies. And like I said, you can use any vegetable that you have on hand. So here's what my bowl looks like. I throw it in the microwave, warm it up. So here's my lunch. Doesn't this look so good? It is so filling and it is packed with protein. And you're getting in some vegetables, you're getting in some healthy carbohydrates. The 
the heated chicken is really good in there. It definitely adds a lot more flavor than just the plain shredded chicken. So it's definitely a repurchase for me. I like it a lot more than I thought that I would. Show daddy your blue ball. Show, oh yeah, show him. Palmer, Palmer. Where's daddy? I say hi. Say hi, Kiki. <laughs> Are you happy because mommy's here with you? Yeah, you a happy girl. Afternoon snack time. I have been so busy today. I'm getting a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna have an afternoon snack protein focus. So what I like to do when I share this in a lot of videos is I build all of my meals and snacks around protein. So when I'm planning my meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks for the day, the forefront of my mind is protein. What protein source am I going to have for that meal or snack? And then I add in the other things that I like, whether it be my nut butter is my protein and then I put it on a rice cake because a rice cake sounds good. Or I have chips and hard boiled eggs. So I like to make sure that the basis of all my meals and snacks is protein. And I'm actually wanting something kind of sweet so I'm gonna have one of the Chobani zero sugar yogurts this is in mixed berry I like this one it's 60 calories and has 11 grams of protein and it's that perfect sweetness now it's not a super sweet yogurt but it still gives me that whole sweet yogurt vibe and then I'm going to have a string cheese so I have double dip of protein but I'm still getting in some healthy fat in the string cheese and I'm getting in that sweetness that I want in my afternoon snack for dinner tonight, I am making an Italian hot dish. This is basically a baked pasta. How perfect is that as we move into the colder months? So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some pasta, and of course, to no surprise, I'm using my Fiber Gourmet pasta. I love this. It has half the calories of traditional pasta, so only 110 per serving, and you get 24 grams of fiber, 17 grams of net carbs, and seven grams of protein. I love it. It's half the points, half the calories, really great texture and taste. It really just tastes like regular pasta, but way better for you. I buy mine off of Nutrition. It comes in penne, rotini, spaghetti, and elbows. So tonight we're actually going to use the penne pasta for our pasta dish, but I'll link Nutrition down below. Best price, biggest selection. And then you're going to need some tomato sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, salt and pepper. Of course, I'll link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below for you. We love these. Parmesan and mozzarella cheese, a green bell pepper, an onion, some sliced mushrooms, and a pound of 96% extra lean ground beef. I'm going to dice up my green bell pepper, my onion, and I have some water coming to a boil to cook the pasta. Put on a large skillet over medium to high heat, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray, and we're going to add in our pound of ground beef and break that up really well with a spoon. Once your meat starts to brown, add in your chopped up onion and bell pepper and your mushrooms, and we're going to allow all of this to cook and saute down. Now we're going to add in one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, salt and pepper. We're adding in onion powder, garlic powder, and oregano. I went ahead and pulled out my baking dish, sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to add our pasta to the bottom of the baking dish. Make sure your pasta is cooked al dente so it's still a little bit hard. It will continue to cook in the oven. And then we have our sauce that will go right on top of the pasta. One half of a cup of light shredded mozzarella. We're going to sprinkle that right on top. And then a couple tablespoons of Parmesan to top the mozzarella. We're going to cover this with some aluminum foil and throw it into the oven for about 35 minutes. We'll uncover it for about the last 10 minutes so the cheese can get browned and melted. All right, the pasta is out of the oven. This looks so good. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let me go ahead and plate this up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and protein. All right, so here is dinner. This made a lot of baked pasta. So this is one serving, lots of protein in here lots of fiber with the fiber gourmet pasta we got some veggies so I'll go ahead and put all of the information for tonight's dinner on the screen for you dessert tonight I need peanut butter and I need chocolate so I'm actually gonna have one of the packages of the quest peanut butter cups these are really good to me these taste very similar to a Reese's they give me the whole Reese's vibe but they have 11 grams of protein for both cups in the package less than one gram of sugar 190 calories so calorie wise 
not too far off from Reese's, but I'm getting in 11 grams of protein and a lot less sugar, and I love these. I truly, truly love these, so peanut butter cups is what's for dessert. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. Tonight's dinner recipe, I will link everything I shared with you down in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Don't forget tonight's dinner recipe is on my recipe website, which I will also link down in the description box. I hope you have an amazing Wednesday and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.